very good evening and welcome to the 7 o'clock news, live from Bahrain International with me, Danielle Deporto. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Khalifa left today for a four-day official visit to Malaysia at the invitation of His Majesty Sultan Mohammed V of Malaysia. His Majesty the King will meet the Malaysian monarch and hold discussions with the Prime Minister Mohammed Najib Abdul Razak on the strong historic relations between the two countries and ways of bolstering them, as well as regional and international issues of common interest. Upon his departure, His Majesty the King was bade farewell by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, senior officials and the Charge d'Affaires of the Malaysian Embassy in Bahrain. The official visit of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to Malaysia today is a great impetus for the growing political and economic partnership between the two countries, built on bonds of friendship, mutual respect and constant keenness on supporting just Islamic issues. The expected outcomes of the Bahraini-Malaysian meetings would consolidate the political and strategic cooperation, which has been growing steadily since diplomatic ties were established in 1974. Both countries' people and leaders deeply value the steady and fraternal Malaysian stances supporting the security and stability, development, progress and democratic practices of Bahrain, siding with the kingdom in protecting its Gulf and Arab security and in rejecting foreign interference in its domestic affairs. New agreements and memorandum of understanding are expected to be signed during the visit, which would complement the existing bilateral accords in the cultural, scientific, economic and commercial areas. The visit is also expected to further enhance economic cooperation with Malaysia and benefit from its highly successful international experiences through motivating joint ventures, increasing the volume of trade exchange and promoting eco-tourism. Bahrain is also interested in activating the Framework Agreement for Economic, Trade, Investment and Technical Cooperation signed by the Gulf Cooperation Council countries and Malaysia in 2011. The historic visit of His Majesty the King and the high-level official delegation to Kuala Lumpur will also strengthen bilateral strategic cooperation and partnership, open wider horizon for the exchange of technical, scientific and technological expertise, as well as boost security and military coordination. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, today issued Edict 7 for this year, appointing directors at the Ministry of Information Affairs. The edict stipulated the appointment of Yunus Salman Hassan as director of the Radio Directorate, Abdullah Khaled Ahmed as director of the News Directorate, Ibrahim Abdullah Al Bashid as director of the Transmission and External Relay Directorate, Yusuf Mohammed Ismail as director of the Media Instruments Directorate, and Abdullah Khalil Buhiji as director of the Human and Financial Resources Directorate. The Minister of Information Affairs has been tasked to implement this edict, effective from the date of its issuance, which we published in the Official Gazette. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today a number of intellectual and economic figures. The audience praised the keenness of His Royal Highness to ensure the Kingdom's march of progress to benefit the country and its people. His Royal Highness affirmed that achieving the royal aspiration of progress for the country is at the top of the government's priorities in order to achieve economic development in a secure and stabilised environment. He stressed the importance of adopting conducive initiatives and unifying words and actions to overcome all challenges. He praised the role of the people of Bahrain and said that all achievements made are thanks to their efforts and dedication. He added that all honours and awards received from international organisations and institutions are thanks to these efforts. His Royal Highness then discussed national affairs with the audience, praising the contributions of Bahrainis throughout the history of the Kingdom and praising the love and efforts of the people for their country.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, received today at Gudebiya Palace Interior Minister, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah al Khalifa, where he briefed His Royal Highness on the results of the joint meeting held by Gulf Cooperation Council or GCC Interior Ministers in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness affirmed the importance of such meetings in developing visions that push forward military, security, and Gulf cooperation, noting the speech the Interior Minister delivered at the meeting which identified security challenges and terrorist threats facing the kingdom. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed the importance of security, military and political integration amongst the GCC countries because of the common challenges and dangers they face. He highlighted the importance of the joint meeting of GCC interior ministers in unifying opinions and goals towards the region's security and stability. His Royal Highness stated that the world today only recognizes alliances and unions and that GCC countries hold many common factors and directions that would manifest in many aspects, most notably security and military. His Royal Highness stressed that what has been achieved at the level of GCC cooperation is great and the requirements to deal with the challenges and dangers of the stage require more comprehensive cooperation. The Interior Minister hailed His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's keenness to activate the mechanisms of Gulf security, cooperation and coordination to deal with challenges collectively and uniformly. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa received today at Gudebiya Palace the Korean Ambassador to the Kingdom, Ko Hyun Moo, on the occasion of receiving his diplomatic duties in the Kingdom. His Royal Highness praised the bilateral friendly relations and expressed Bahrain's keenness to further enhance these relations and cooperation in various fields. He hailed the cooperation between the two countries, highlighting the important role of Korea on the economic and trade levels. His Royal Highness then discussed recent regional and international developments and stressed the importance of collective efforts to achieve security and stability in the region and the world. He affirmed his full support to the Korean ambassador to facilitate his diplomatic work in order to enhance bilateral relations. The Korean ambassador praised the achievements made by the government of Bahrain, led by His Royal Highness, and the firm stances of the kingdom towards Korea in various international forums. He congratulated His Royal Highness on the graduation of his granddaughter, Sheikh Aisha bin Rashid al-Khalifa, from the Royal Military Academy, Sandhurst, and highlighted that His Royal Highness is respected and appreciated by the leadership and government of Korea. Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali Asala, today chaired the weekly meeting where the Council expressed good wishes to all Bahrainis on Labour Day, affirming their important role in achieving economic progress and making accomplishments in all fields. Under the care and support of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. The Council then approved a draft law regarding the Penal Code and another draft law regarding electronic transactions. The meeting approved a draft law regarding the General Authority for Social Insurance and then discussed two reports regarding the GCC legislative meeting that was held last November in Bahrain, as well as the Regional Parliamentary Workshop for the Middle East and North Africa, MENA, that was held last December in Jordan. Interior Minister Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa and Housing Minister Bassam bin Yaqub Al Hamar today attended the Ali Housing Units Distribution Ceremony to the officers of the Ministry of Interior. The Interior Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa's efforts to provide high living standards for officers in appreciation of their efforts to perform their national duty and maintain national achievements. The Interior Minister also expressed thanks and appreciation to the Housing Ministry, the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning and the Ministry of Electricity and Water for their cooperation in completing the project according to its timetable and the required standards and specifications. The Ali Housing Project includes 21 houses which were distributed to benefit officers according to strict application of standards. The officers expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King, praising the Interior Minister's support of all Interior Ministry affiliates. The Interior Minister unveiled the commemorative plaque and delivered the keys of the housing units to the officers and inspected one of the units of the project.
The Kingdom of Bahrain hosted the graduation ceremony of the 12th batch of Gulf Cooperation Council students at Arabian Gulf University. The ceremony was held under the patronage of Minister of Education Dr. Majid Al Noemi and was attended by a number of GCC ambassadors to the Kingdom, Gulf educational officials, senior university officials, and parents of the graduate students. In a speech he delivered, the minister congratulated the graduates and their parents and expressed his deep appreciation to the university's president, members of the board of trustees, and all members of the academic and administrative bodies for their exerted efforts to achieve the noble goals of this prestigious edifice. He also hailed the university for its past achievements. Dr. Noemi affirmed that Arabian Gulf University is an embodiment of the GCC country's unity due to the directives and support of the wise leadership. He added that the Kingdom of Bahrain is moving forward in completing King Abdullah Medical City that was ordered by the late Saudi monarch King Abdullah bin Abdulaziz Al Saud to be built on land donated by His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa in support of the Arabian Gulf University's development projects. Dr. Noemi then distributed graduates uh, certificates to the graduates including those with a degree of excellence with the first honour. And then the president of the university honoured the rest of the graduates. A very good evening. You're watching the Business News on Bahrain International with me, Shuk Mohammed. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,335.67 points, marking an increase of 3.51 points above the previous closing. The increase was in the commercial banks, investment and services sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 63% of total shares. 49 transactions included 1,646,795 shares worth 497,191 Bahraini dinars. The Minister of Finance, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, today met with Talikat CEO Mr. Mahmoud Hashim Al Kuhiji and Mazad CEO Mr. Talal Araf Al Araifi in order to complete the transfer of proceeds generated from Bahrain's first private vehicle number plates auction to the Ministry of Finance. The auction revenues have reached 1.72 million Bahraini dinars. The Minister of Finance highlighted the important role played by Mumtalikat and Mazad in conducting the auction, which he said represents a vital step in promoting principles of transparency, fairness and competitiveness across key sectors in the Kingdom. The Minister of Finance also highlighted that the transfer directly supports ongoing efforts to introduce new and innovative ways to generate revenue.